next step we're going to install the software on our computer. So we've now installed or uploaded all the files. Now we need to install the ad serving network, the OpenX software. So you're going to go to your URL, the URL of your website, and then the, the folder name that you have created for it. So in this case, I called it AdServe. You might call it OpenX. You might call it something else. In this case, I'm going to countonspr.com forward slash AdServe. And I'm going to just hit Enter. And then once I do that, I'm going to be hit with a um, installation wizard that looks very similar to this. So it's very simple to go through. So I'm first going to select Continue. And it's going to give me the terms and conditions, so you'll want to read those. And after you've read that, you want to review their privacy policy and then select I agree. And then it's going to check your server to make sure your server is OK. Now, all, almost all servers um, are going to be just fine. This is also making sure all the correct files have been uploaded and that the permissions have been set accurately and they seem to be. So you're going to now next go to continue and then right here where it says database you're going to select MySQL database for this example that's the easiest to work with. Database host name localhost is the best option. Port number, it's going to automatically fill that in for you if you're using a, a host like Bluehost, for example. The database username, remember that username that we um, put into a notepad file, you're going to want to pull that up. Oops. You're going to want to pull up that notepad file. So in this case, the uh, database name we have right here. So right here it says database name. We're just going to paste that in there. And then database username. We're going to select that. Copy that. And we're going to paste that in here where it says database username. And then database password. We're just going to come back here and remind ourselves what it is. I put the usual password. OK, so I input that information and then leave everything else as it is and we're going to go ahead and hit continue and then it's going to process and make sure that the database is set up correctly so that's going to take just a little bit of time so it now says the OpenX database has now been created please click the continue button to proceed with configuring OpenX administrator and delivery settings so we're 50 percent through the process here next you're going to click on continue And then after you click on continue, it's going to ask for the web path. And by default, it says just leave the default values, and that is perfectly fine with me. And then we're just going to click on continue. So this makes your life a lot easier. And then administration, this is where you set up your administrator username and password. So in this case, you're going to just set up a login detail so it might be uh, your name so or it could just be admin and then you just put in your password and then you put in an email address and then you're going to just select English or whatever language you're working with and then you just come right down here and you select your particular time zone preference. Uh, in this case, let's just choose, uh, let's see, just select your particular time zone, whatever that may be. And then once you selected your time zone, we'll just move on to the next one. I'm just going to select an example.
and you see they have a variety of different options. Then you're just going to hit on continue once you've selected that. And now it says your OpenX installation is now complete. Click continue and we'll log you into your ad server your ad server network with the information that you just set up. And then we're going to hit continue and log in and make sure everything is working. So this is what it should look like once you're logged in to your ad serving network. And so what we're going to do here in the next video is I'm going to show you how to set up your campaigns and how to use the OpenX ad serving network so that you can start uh, either running your own advertisements on your own blog and selling blog ad space or you can also set up you know and, and run your own affiliate campaigns and track uh, click-through percentage and increase your profits.